What's up, all my inspirational tea sippers? Merry Christmas, you guys. I wanted to get on here and tell you guys, Merry, Merry Christmas. Let me get y'all so I can see. I just wanted to get on here and wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I'm trying to get y'all comfortable. Well, not y'all comfortable, but so where y'all can see. But I am at my vanity that I got for Christmas, y'all. I got a whole vanity table. My sister got me a whole vanity desk. Let me show y'all. Look, there's my vanity desk. And here's the stool that goes to it. But I'm going to use a chair. This is really nice. But I'm going to need a chair with a back to it to go to it. But I absolutely love <coughs> my vanity table. I was able to get everything off of my dresser and off of my stand, y'all, because I only worry about the kids. As long as they got everything, I pretty much don't really get really what I want. So I got a vanity table and I got my furniture for my living room. I got my couches. It's a couch, it's a sofa love, three tables and two lamps. So I absolutely love it. I have to go tomorrow and get my rugs for the um living room set, but Santa was really good to me this year and I'm just so thankful so excited the kids are blessed they have everything they need and I just wanted to get on here and say Merry Merry Christmas you guys and while I was getting them stuff I was picking up me a few things too so I got a couple of more things like as far as like some Nike sandals a couple of furry slide slippers I'll show you guys what I got I'll probably do a what I got for Christmas and probably show the kids I'm not quite sure recording all like that I don't know but um my laptop is the charger to it is bent and broken and so I have to get out tomorrow so that way I can upload some of the videos that I have on my camera but let me tell y'all how blessed I'm feeling and how emotional I'm telling you my makeup came out real good today. I've been at my vanity table just practicing, 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 taking it all off, putting it back on, using different things, trying different things. Okay, but let me tell y'all this story real quick. Sunday night. Saturday, I went, me and my sister, we went out. And But before we went out in the shopping center, because um, we went out to Walmart, we were doing a couple things, picking up the kids like last minute stuff, undies, bras, stuff like that. Just getting them completely taken care of. They don't need anything else. Now it's just bills and saving and I'm, I'm going to buy my babies a house. So anyways, so Sunday, Saturday, we did that. And then there was a big tattoo and y'all know I've been talking about getting my nose pierced, getting my tongue pierced. And so there was a shop there and I'm like, okay, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like when you got a wild hair and you just feel like you want to just do it sporadically, like that's the best time to do it. I'm like, oh, now is the time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, oh, I'm ashy. Need some lotion. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go, right? So we did that. So the next day I got up and I, my mouth was very sore, you know, sore for a few days. And ice for the first three days is like your best friend. Just chew on ice, chew on ice, chew on ice to keep the swelling and everything down, right? So, um, I'm looking for ice that Sunday. So I get out and I'm driving around, just kind of relaxing. I have been with the kids, just taking a drive, clearing my head, right? So I'm on my way back and I stop at a store and I'm like, okay, I need the ice. So I'm trying to get the ice or whatever. There is no ice at this one particular store, right? So, um, I'm like, okay, I'll just get it closer to the house. Like as I'm going home, y'all, and this is like seafood and makeup on my shirt probably probably makeup for me doing my makeup this morning but um so i'm like okay so i get almost home right y'all and right before my turn i'm getting ready to make a left at my turn like at 0 0.1 0 0.2 is my turn coming up to make a left but right before my turn i hear the lord tell me turn in the store because there's this corner store and then my street and then I was making a left turn right there and get the ice right so I'm like okay so it was like a quick turn because it was like a last minute thing like turn in right here and get the ice so I was gonna keep going and just do it like right there by my house but the Lord was like turn and and get the ice so I turn in and get the ice as soon as the two tires hit the driveway up the corner store I hear a big 
boom. And I felt a vibration under my car. And I'm like, what? And so I didn't see anything, but like not even seconds later, you hear fire, fire truck. You hear an ambulance. You hear, you know what I mean? You hear, um, like commotion and all this. So I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? What's going on? So I'm looking, I get out the car and I'm looking around and there is a three car accident, a really, really bad accident. Y'all a really, really bad accident. When I see this accident, y'all, I completely, I just immediately go into prayer, praise, worship, hallelujah. I'm crying, crying like a baby, like literally crying. Like that could have been my car. Like that was supposed to be my car. That was supposed to be my car. Like down here, I think this is like the number one state in like car accidents. Like they drive hella fast. I have so much anxiety driving because it's like they're reckless drivers. And so I'm just like, hallelujah, God, you are so real to me. I just started giving him prayer. People looking at me crazy, looking at me all upside my head. And at this point, I'm just like, I do not care. That was supposed to have been me. That was supposed to be my car. So, oh, my Dyson fell. And so I get up. I After I saw what was going on, I'm praying. We praying for the people. I don't know if anybody died or anything like that, but they were like literally praying one of the people out of that white car because I think somebody ran a red light and then somebody hit that car, that car, and it was just, it was a mess and it was my turn. I'm telling you, I was crying so hard. God is real to me. He is real in my life. I don't know how y'all do without the Lord. Like he is my protector. He is there for me. Like I am not leaving here until it's time for me to go home. Like Lord, I just thank you. Hallelujah, Father God. I pray for those. I just started praying for those who were in a wreck and then family started coming. People are running and crying and that's my family. Like pulling up, parking, running in the middle of the street and I'm just over there praying Praying, 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 praying. And lady, like, please don't stop praying. Please don't stop praying. So I'm praying, 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 praying. And so I go into inside the store, y'all, to get the ice. Here's the kicker. There was no ice in that store. There was no ice inside of the store. There was no ice. There was no ice. There was no ice inside of that store, y'all. There was no ice. When I walked in there to go seek, so I'm like, okay, well, let me see. And so I walk in there too. That's getting on my nerves. And so I walk in there to go see, and there's no ice. And I freak out. I'm like, oh my God. And the man was like, he rolled up after he seen it because he saw my car. And he looking at me with big eyes. He was like, you're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Did you see that? You're blessed. I was like, that was supposed to be my turn. I was turning right there. That's the way, that, that was the way to go home. I had to detour. That's how real and serious it was. I had to literally detour to and go all the way around to go home because that was my turn. Like, and there was no ice. That's getting on my nerves too. And there was no ice. I didn't shower when I got out the shower. I didn't lotion up when I got out the shower. There was no ice. There was no ice in that store, y'all. And I was just like, Lord, Father God, you are worthy. You are amazing. You are righteous. You are sovereign. You are indeed with me. Your angels are with me. The angels that I have, they are encamped all about me and my children. And I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I glorify you. I come home and I'm just thinking to myself because the kids were at home. I'm thinking my kids would have never knew. They would have just been at home. Of course, you know, had the Lord had his way, I probably would have called my sister and had her come get the kids because she was gone too. And I'm like, oh my goodness, my kids would have never knew. They just would have, I wouldn't have came back. You know what I'm saying? Had I been in this accident and I was just like, when I walked in the door, of course, TJ is upstairs. Terry on is in the bathroom trying to get him to get out the bathroom. This is what I see instantly walking in tears. I'm crying instantly. So I walk in the, walk in the house. TJ got one arm hanging out of his shirt. He's upstairs in the bathroom. Teriana's using the bathroom. She's trying to tell him to get out the bathroom so she can use the bathroom. Deanna's in her room like, oh, this boy just been whatever. And at that moment, I was just like, it doesn't even matter. I'm home. I started hugging on my kids, 
crying and turning around. I was like, stop exaggerating. Stop exaggerating. What are you doing? What are you doing? Because I'm very emotional. I'm very affectionate with my kids. I'm like, I love you guys. I almost died. Like, I literally felt like my life, like, I almost died. Like, I, I was supposed to be in an accident, but the Lord saw fit, like, I just couldn't believe it. I made my kids hug. We was hugging. We was praying. <laughs> Y'all, I'm I'm that type of parent. I am that type of parent. Like, they know I love the Lord. They know how much the Lord means to me. They know that he is real in my life. They know that I serve him. I am not shy. I'm not bashful when it comes to praising God because who he is and what he has done for me is, I mean, when I think about, when I think back over my life, whoo. And all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Like, my kids know. They know I don't play. They know I don't play about the Lord. They know, they know, they know that I am a work in progress. They know that I don't only talk about him, but I try to live my life. You know what I'm saying? I still do things that are not pleasing unto him, but I am always working. I'm always correcting those things, and I'm always trying to do better, and I'm always trying to be better. Sorry, y'all. My mouth is still a little bit sore. But, um, and I'm always trying to be better. You know what I mean? So like, they know I love the Lord and I was crying. We was praying. I was like, don't forget to tell everybody that you love them. You say you love each other every single day. When you wake up, you do not forget. She's like, well, when did we forget one day? I said, you don't forget. Do not forget one day. Do not forget one day. And I'm telling them what happened. They just quiet. And they looking at me. And TJ walking up to me. And he looking. And I'm like, TJ, I almost died. I almost died right now. I'm telling them a story. We just start hugging. I'm like, let's go upstairs and snuggle. I make them come upstairs with me. We were snuggling in the bed. I was just like so happy. So humble so grateful like god you are with me you are a rock and even if it was you know what i'm saying you would have kept me to make it back home to my kids like just be thankful and i wanted to make this video today to let you guys know that happened on sunday i want you guys to know that this is not about things it's christmas technically the lord wasn't even born on december 25th so it's like it's more like a reflection of who God is and you know him coming to and you know being our savior our our rectifier the man who stands in in the gap for us the one who you know petitions on our behalf and it's just a time to reflect you know even though we do give our kids gifts and there are many people out there who, who are not able at this time it's not about that it's about love care togetherness you know what i'm saying and my kids know if we're ever in a point to where we are not able to we're going to make sure that we're always just still together loving on each other you know preparing a meal making some type of food and just being together being together is what matters the most it's not about things it's not about things it's not about things and i'm thinking next year um we're not going to do gifts but we're going to go ahead and give back so that my kids can understand christmas ain't it, life is not about us. It's always about what you can do for other people, what you can do for the kingdom. So I'm thinking just so they can have a real true understanding next year. Yeah, they may have like a gift or maybe like one gift. But for the most part, I want them to understand that Christmas is not about that. It's the togetherness and that they give back to their friends and those who are in need. So I really want to do that next year so they can really, really know. We can talk about it all day, but we got we need to be about the things that we're talking about. So... That's what I wanted to share. I just wanted to get on camera for one because my makeup came out bomb. It came out bomb. I'm practicing and I will be doing my makeup more on camera just so y'all can see like different looks. And I'm practicing. I'm still learning along the way, but I love it so much. And it's just, it's coming out better and better with the different products and stuff that I'm using and just picking up. So I just wanted to say Merry Christmas, you guys. I pray to God that you guys are having a wonderful and blessed Christmas. You are enjoying family. You are having a good time. And today's scripture that the Lord put on my heart last night for the vision of 2020 is Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. I'm going to go into more deep, more research on that scripture because, and I even wrote it on the board up in my kitchen. That is the vision for 2020. I heard it loud and clear last night. I heard him say, this is what it is. 
This is what it is. Everything you asking for, everything you looking for, everything you are seeking, it's in me first. You got to seek his kingdom and his righteousness, the things that he's desiring and everything else that you looking for, everything else that you want as far as my channel, as far as my kids, as far as adoption and fostering, all of that stuff comes with me seeking him first and getting my mental and spiritual and physical health together. So that is the vision. And I'm going to be doing some more research on that. I just, Matthew 6. So I want to start Matthew 1 and go down and see what led him to say that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very important to read above and then read below. So I think I'm going to go from Matthew 1 probably to 10 and kind of get a better understanding of why he said that at that moment and what it really, really fully means. I have an idea, but I want to get the fullness of it. So... Merry Christmas, my loves. Merry, Merry Christmas. And to those who don't celebrate, you already know there's going to be people who don't celebrate Christmas. We don't celebrate Christmas. It's not Jesus' day. Woo, woo, woo. It was not the day he was born and all that. No, he wasn't technically born on December 25th, but he was born. He was born. He came. He died. <laughs> he rose. Reflect. The truth is what the truth of the reality is. If you don't, there is no judgment on this channel. Just enjoy your family and enjoy your day. We still love you, even if you don't. So if it's not Merry Christmas for you, just happy holidays. You know what I'm saying? Happy holidays, because you always going to have them once. So we love y'all too. It don't even matter, you know? So happy holidays, you guys. God bless you also oh very much. Merry, Merry Christmas, you guys. Do not forget what the season is about. If you are mourning at this time, I pray to God that the Lord gives you beauty for ashes and that he reveals his truths and reveals his secrets to you upon why you are going through what you are going through. But you must understand that you have to seek him first in his righteousness and all the other things that you are searching for and looking for will be added unto you. So thank you so much for having me on this day. God bless you guys. I love you all so much. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.